Good morning everyone. Today I have made a project on sustainable water and drainage management system. As we all know that there is scarcity of water on the earth as we are listening that probably the third world war would be held for water. So we have made this project sustainable water and drainage management system which utilizes an integration of simple technologies within the natural boundary of an area to solve this problem. Clean accessible water is a unique commodity. Even in this modern technical world, there is no technique to manufacture water. So it therefore must be valued and safeguarded. Let me first jump to the uh, result of this project. If we implement this project in our localities, then in a single day, 44,841 liters of water can be recycled which is sufficient for, for 74 families approx and 14,040 liters of water is reharvested as underground water in a day. So if you want to know how I have calculated this, pause the video and calculate the analysis. Pause it. Done? Now. Okay. Let me... Let me shift on the working of this project. This project works on the principle of conserving used water, which is otherwise lost in the form of drained water. This used water, uh, excluding the sewage, by sewage I mean the 39% of toilet flushing water. I don't think so you will be using the clean toilet flushing water to bathe yourself. No, I don't think so and the 4% of drinking water which is to be consumed by you so excluding this the 57% of water is, uh, is wasted as drainage so we are using this drainage uh, water and storing it in a domestic sedimentation tank of the size of 2 by 2 by 5 feet here the water is treated with alum uh, the function of the alum is to um, load the impurities by increasing the weight and uh, by this we can settle the impurities down here so after this is done the domestic soak pit can be um, uh, the water can be shifted to a domestic soak pit now what is soak pit it is a structure which is baseless and the water can freely uh, pass on into the ground from here now uh, in cases of rainy season or excess groundwater, we can. Uh, sh uh, we, in cases of rainy season or excess groundwater, we can shift the water into a comedy sedimentation tank uh, of the size of 15 by 15 by 10 feet. If one of the comedy sedimentation tank overflows, we can uh, shift the water to another comedy sedimentation tank, uh, which is present there. Now this whole setup, excluding the uh, domestic uh, sedimentation tank and the domestic soak pit is constructed in a park and covered with a suitable material so as not to interfere with the aesthetic value of a park so the water can be now uh, transferred into a treatment tank uh, here it is the water is treated with uh, lime and uh, lime chlorine and alum the safe limit of chlorine is uh, 4 mg per liter lime 60 mg per liter and alum is 0 0.2 mg per liter now i have not uh, now the water can be pumped uh, from the treatment tank to the overhead water tank as i couldn't fit the uh, pump in the treatment tank so i'll be using a bucket with a pump that will be uh, for representation of the treatment tank now the water can be sent uh, pumped into an overhead water tank where the water can be stored till future use then the water can be transferred to a traditional sand filter where the water can be filtered by three stages of uh, filtration that is uh, filtration by sand uh, filtration by gravel and filtration by charcoal after this uh, the water can be up um, the water can be uh, distributed in the families and the rest of the water can be uh, transferred in a comedy soak pit which is present there and the water can be transferred to the ground in a much larger pace now uh, uh, now, I think so there will be some problems in the implementation of the action plan. These are, if this drain water, if carries excess of detergents or other non-biodegradable impurities may disrupt the natural flora and fauna when it will seep into the ground. If this drain water reaches the groundwater with its impurities, it may pollute the uh, groundwater 
an additional infrastructure will be required to take away the uh, drain water from houses and supply purified water back to the house now we can uh, overcome these problems suggestions to overcome the problems in its implementation the use of detergent should be minimized and biodegradable soap should be used instead of detergent the water should be first chemically treated with alum and bleaching powder before sending the uh, water into the soap pits establishment of the infrastructure will require only one time investment and will benefit in the long run uh, it can be also made necessary by the idea to construct soap pits in the uh, colonies which may sprout up in the future now we had carried on a survey about how many people agree to use biodegradable soaps instead of the uh, detergents the answer is uh, 90% of the people Ninety percent of the people in our survey uh, agree to use the uh, biodegradable soaps, and eighty-seven people, eighty-seven uh, percent of the people agree to use uh, the um, agree to make the infrastructure in their homes. Now I'll show you the uh, working of my project. Now, as you can see, that the level of the water is increasing in the domestic soap pit. Now, if we look more carefully, now you can see the water coming out in the treatment tank. Now, as I said you, uh, now as I told you that uh, I'll show a, 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 for representation, I'm having a bucket with a pump. So uh, for the representation, I'll uh, show you uh, the water, how the water is pumped into the overhead tank and the water is then sent to the traditional sand filter and obtained in the uh, uh, soap bed. Now let me pump the water in the overhead water tank. This bucket represents the treatment tank and the water will be pumped like this. Now when you focus here, uh, now in some seconds you can see the uh, water coming in the uh, soap pit. Now you can see the water coming out in the soap pit. Now, I have made this for the representation of the water level in Agra. 30 years back, in uh, approx 30 years back, in 1997. The water level was uh, at 70 feet, but now due to the rapid in increase in the uh, use of uh, water level, uh, ground water, it has gone to 240 feet and below. So, if we implement this project in our locality, then according to our belief, it can uh, uh, increase the level of the water and uh, it can, in 5 years, it can amount to 200 feet of groundwater and at a rap rapid uh, increase we can also uh, increase the water level. So now, as we calculated the cost of the uh, install of installing all these tanks uh, in new sprouting colonies, uh, when it will amount to 100 families, then per family the cost would be 8000 to 9000 and when uh, accumulated from uh, 100 families it would be 8 to 9 lakhs. And in that we can make the whole structure which is present here. And the cost of cleaning one liter of water would be less than even one pesa. And uh, the monthly cost per uh, family of cleaning the water would be less than 140 rupees. Now I'll, I showed you the cost effectiveness of my product. Thank you.